Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua All Trades here. Uh, we've got kind of a different video for you today. My buddy, Uncle Steve, hey. came by and he brought his 2017? 2017 Camaro RS. One of the issues that he's having with this is some terrible droning on the interstate. And one of the fixes for it are to add in these J-pipes here. And essentially they're just resonation chambers. They help take the drone out of the exhaust. And we are going to go ahead and try to get them installed onto his exhaust currently. And what we're going to do is, if I can wiggle up under here, there we go. Essentially mount them about like this, right around there. We're gonna go ahead and mark them up and then we'll drop the exhaust uh, cut out the mark and weld them up and so I'll see you after we get the exhaust out All right, so essentially what we did to mark this out was we have our pieces we assembled the full J pipe and We went ahead and found a position where we kind of minimized the gap situation and We went ahead and traced it out with a sharpie and so what we're gonna do now We've got it on both sides as you can see right there We've got both marks on there. We checked to make sure that the two of them did not clash or collide. And so now we're ready to go ahead and drop the exhaust. We're gonna have to go up to the front of the car because that is where all of the uh, mounts are up front. And I dropped you, I'm sorry, I'm a bad video maker. Anyhow, we're gonna have to go up to the front and drop the, the bolts up there and then we'll be able to slide the whole thing out and weld it. So I'll see you next time we get the exhaust out. So you can edit that part yeah, out, right? I can edit that out. All right, so we started dropping the exhaust and I figured I'd share just a quick small tip with you. If you wanna get your uh, exhaust hangers off right here, uh, they are always difficult. No matter what you do, it's going to be tough. One thing you can do to make it easier is get you some soap and some water and um, essentially it will help it the rubber slide off of the metal parts a lot easier than if you just try to pry it off and once you have them fully coated with soap sometimes you need water sometimes you don't I'm gonna try without Let's see if we can slide this guy off here there you go Ta -da! and now you have your rubber hanger off there's only about four of these, I think. So with soap, it's a lot easier. Without soap, um, you hate yourself. So cool tip. Get that some soap. I think we'll be able to drop the cross brace halfway up and then we'll be able to take the bolts loose from the flanges and the clamps up at the hitters. All right, there we go. Now we'll move on up to the cross brace. All right, not sure how much you can see. It's We're under the car on Jack's end, so there's not a whole a lot of room however we have this cross brace um, that needs to come off because this car has uh, an aftermarket cat pack that is welded to where the uh, where it would normally slip joint onto and be clamped so we have to take this off and we have a couple of clamp we've got one clamp up front and then we have um, a bolted joint on the driver's side so 
we'll go ahead and drop this cross member real quick. It'll be loud because it's a gun, but and there's one. That's good. <laughs> Two. Three. This is also a pretty good little tool. Four. And last one. Five. And there you go. A cross member. It's more of a cross brace than anything. But now that we have that off, I'm just checking, making sure there are no other hangers that are going to hold on to the exhaust as we try to pull it out and we're good to go. So now we're gonna move forward and take off the other joints. All right, you can't see me because I'm invisible, also behind the camera. Anyway, we have this slip joint here and that should just come right out. Power tools are freaking amazing. And then now we move to the that direction to get the other one. All right, here we are at the final joint for the exhaust. We're filming this Ave style, so you're not gonna see me, but we got a bolt here, or a nut here, and a nut here. And then at that point, it's a bunch of shimmying and trying to get the exhaust off. So I'll go ahead and pull these guys. Power tools are awesome. More. There we go. Just like they do it on TV. Awesome. Alright, cool. I'm glad those came off fairly easily. Typically with your exhaust nuts, after so much heat cycling, they pretty much become one with the rest of the exhaust. All right, we got this all off. We're gonna try to shimmy this thing out of here and I'll see you whenever we get it out. All right, as you see, we have the exhaust out. You can see where we marked the uh, outlets that we're gonna cut. And I got this one right here. And if you look, I've got kind of a cross going and a center mark. I'm gonna show you how I did that on this side. And that'll give me close enough to center for what we're doing. I'm sure there are probably better ways to do this, but this is what I do. Alright, so a lot of it is eyeball. But that's okay. And so essentially, we traced out around there. And so we're going to find essentially where the opposite side would be, which would be the furthest point from it. And you couldn't see it, but it essentially went like this. I couldn't get the marker in there. But what you do is you move it until you get to the farthest spot away. Hold it down and just draw you a line. And you do the same thing vertically. And it took me two tries on the other one, so it might take you find the lowest spot and then you find the highest spot. And let's see here. Let's see if that'll work. And then we'll just go ahead and mark right there. So I'm off right there. So you see it's a little wider by a good bit so taking that into consideration let's try that again I'm gonna go right there I bet that's pretty close to what we need right there and right there yep that'll work all right so now all we do is we center punch it and we drill it out with a hole saw center punch and a dandy you know I bought a automatic one and of course it's not with my tools it's upstairs but that's okay there you go do the same thing on the opposite side so if you look you can actually see I'm a little below because I'm hammering at a weird angle, you can shift it up. There you go, see now it's right there. So you can kind of move it around a little bit. There we go, and 
that'll work. And so we'll just drill that out and that'll be boring so i'll see you afterwards all right so we got everything welded uh but we have this one really big piece left over not really sure what it does but oh we'll see what happens steve go ahead and start it up huh it's a little louder than it was before that's weird i wonder if this made it quieter huh i don't know we'll try finding where that goes and we'll put it on when we get back from lunch so We'll Punch. see what happens. And we came back and we put the big piece on. I think I found where it goes. And as you can see, let's see here. We've got the pieces on, clamped in place, welded in, ready to go. So we'll fire it up and see what it sounds like. All right, go ahead. So far, so good. That was welding those on. We're gonna go test drive it and see if it worked. In the car, and I'm not sure if you'd be able to hear it or not, but right now we're cruising at right, just north of 2000 RPMs, right exactly where it used to reverberate through the whole cabin. And so that's downshifting. And so you hear the engine noise, but you don't hear that reverberation that it's we, gone. we would hear earlier. Yeah, it's gone now, so. Seems like those worked really well. There's no uh, major exhaust leak from my terrible welding, and uh, yeah, seems to be working. That's right here is like the the perfect tone. Right now, it's just a tone. You hear just a whoom, and it's like more of an engine noise. Whereas before, it reverberated through the whole cabin, and so it's amazing how just giving giving the exhaust somewhere to go you get rid of that Hemsholtz resonance sort of deal like when you crack your back window in a car and it sits there and buffets that's essentially what was happening with the car and now it's got the exhaust on it sounds good now you've got just a deep tone as opposed to that ridiculous rumble that was being heard before so overall good fix glad it worked steve approves